Hey guys, Game Master Cody here again, and now we are about to confront Jacques. Nasty's top henchman, so to speak. And he sure chose a nice level. Nice doozy. This one's pretty tough. Has some tricky glides, so be prepared. Charge these guys and find the guys with the flowers. More of these guys again, so just flame them. See what react happens and get away. Get up. Bam. We'll go this way for a second. Flame the big flower freaks. <laughs> Would you believe all they're doing is trying to protect their flowers? I mean, that's pathetic. More gems over here. Get these gems. There we go, got him. Right as he was going around. You get out of here. Get him back up here again. Get the chests. There's a locked key. Lock chest. We'll come back to this ominous looking tunnel later. It's at least the final boss. Now here's something I enjoy to do. You can time this right and take both these guys out in one charge attack. After gliding and you hit square, I call it a dive bomb. Ha ha ha. Look at that, they didn't stand a chance. What are they doing? They're crazy. An extra life. That one's a little trickier just because if you time it wrong, you'll be um, falling down, and that's never fun. Now we gotta get both of these guys to make that little puzzle rise. First, let's get these gems. Hit triangle, please. It makes just getting this area a little easier. You don't wanna overshoot it and then fall down into the abyss. So if I get that second one. There we go, we got the second one. Climbing up here. Glide back over here, and we get this key. And now... We can either A, go back that way, and go get that chest, or B, glide over there, and get the, come back and get the chest later. I'm going for the chest. Glide back again, glide across, cut to the left so you can make it. And just climb back up here. And we'll open the chest for a purple gem. There's a lot in this level. You'll see what I'm talking about. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but that was kind of funny. Alright, now. Let's flame this guy. He kind of look, it looks like he doesn't do anything, but once you get up here, you understand what he does. Get up, activates this tall thing. But you need very tall if you want to make it over here. Rescue this dragon. Unika, thank you for releasing me. I get it. Thank you for... That's all he says. Thank you for releasing me. Fortunately, I think there's only one more dragon that does that. I actually have a list of what dragons say what. Or their uselessness or usefulness. I don't know where it's at right now. I think it's in my gaming folder. Come over here. Get these gems. This is a nice little lovely glide to try and make. You gotta time it just right. Don't want to be falling into that lava. Because chances are it's going to really hurt. Get back on the whirlwind to send us back over here. And now we'll glide back to this area again. That again he operates he pulls out that wall so all right now for the pansy towers wow that was really sad I'm sorry I had to see that that was really pathetic I gotta go find some mushrooms wow there's no more in this level that's not good Oh well. Now we're gonna hit, try to hit them all at one time. One. One. 
one. Ah, when you know I'd miss that fourth one. Wow, he kicked my butt. <laughs> Got beat by a flowered weirdo. Oh, there's a mushroom. Gurry jerk. Missed him again. What is with this guy? It, girl thing, don't care. Oh, now I'm getting in one shot. Erg. Anyway. Alright, now. When you're going to glide, you're going to get in the straight corner and get all the way to the right. That way you can make the glide back. Charge that guy. Charge that guy. Get back up here. Now let's head back over to where we saw that tunnel. Yeah, that's right. We're, we're just about there. Alright, now let's go down this tunnel. I usually don't die three times playing this game. It's kind of sad. I, I feel kind of uh, ashamed right now. I've died three times. Or silly stuff, too. <laughs> Any advice before this battle? Advice. A wise dragon once told me, aim high in life, but watch out for flying foxes. Huh? That dragon's really funny. <laughs> His phrase is funny, then Spyro's reaction like, huh? Alright, now to deal with shock. All you gotta do, let's charge him. Take out his boxes he throws at you. Charge after him. A lot of flame hunters underneath him and he'll keep on moving. Play him again. Jump up to here. Over to here. Get to the whirlwind. All right. Now this is the this is it right here. And there we go. Four purple gems. That's a lot. Three keys from just one enemy. And then three more purples right here. That was pretty cool, meeting Jacques. And we are now done with the Dreamweaver's world, and 90% of this game is now completed. With 10,500 gems and 74 dragons, with 12 eggs, or all the eggs. Let's leave, we're out of here. For all those purples. There's only one more level, you'll see that, that again. Let's go get a, a golden spark shot before we leave. To avoid these guys. There's a mushroom. Now let's get back to the... You've got to be kidding me. My whole purpose of going to get the mushroom and then I die on the way back. That's what I call irony. Not gonna rush it this time. That's probably the reason I've been dying so much. I've been trying to rush it three times. Amos, the balloonist. You needed 6,000 to get to Nasty's Ward. We have 10,000, so we have more than enough. Of course I want to go to Nasty's Ward. It's the last place I gotta go. We are not entering Nasty's world. Alright, this is now Nasty's world. Uh, we will begin it in the next video. Game Master Cody is now signing off. I will see y'all later.